All right, our first issue is cells in parallel that you see here. This is what I built. This is a schematic representation. For example, if I had three 5,000 milliampere hour cells and I wired them in parallel, the voltage, like all parallel connections, would be the same. 3.7 volts. Actually, these things operate at 3.82, but I'll explain that later. But the current capacity would add. So this is 15,000 milliampere hours, or fi actually uh, a 15 ampere hour, but it's only about a 3.7 volt cell. As far as charging would go, the original circuit we use would just see a single 3.7 volt uh, cell and it would work exactly the same, no changes there. This little unit and unit consists of a charging board where you plug it into 5 volts from a wall wart and it has two 18650 lithium ion cells in parallel. The next issue you have to discuss is what if we have these cells that are in parallel but one cell is degraded or maybe even fully dead unless it short unless it connect shorts out the whole circuit it may look like it charges up fine but it doesn't have the current capacity that it would normally have meaning it would run down faster and you would have to recharge it even more often. This situation can become really critical with the next battery setup. This is an 18 uh, volt uh, lithium ion battery pack I salvaged from a cordless power tool. It was one of these that I got it from. And what this consists of, it consists of five pairs of lithium ion cells, five pairs of two cells in parallel. And so what do we deal with if just one of the pairs is bad? You would, uh, the cell, you would have, the thing would not work properly. And even if you lost just one uh, cell of the pairs, it would probably degrade the entire power output and reduce the available current. So for this, this how did I come up with this originally? It consisted originally of a, this is just, it wasn't this, but it had a five cell uh, charge regulator board that was soldered to the bottom of the cell set and that had failed. I unsoldered it and removed it. And this is what I ended up with. I went ahead and charged each pair as a single cell. Charged them all up to full voltage and they seem to be okay individually. You can measure from ground to here. Ah, there was your 19 something volts. Uh, remember when these charge up they're actually operated higher than 3.7. My tests show it's around 3.8. So how do I determine if any of the cells in my string are bad? Here is my uh, load test, what I did. This really consists of a little digital ammeter and a 20 ohm 100 watt load. I use this for testing a lot of things. I connected the battery pack to this, let it run for several minutes. The resistors were getting good and hot. Then I measured, you can see the terminals if you look close. And as I measured the terminals, they were all about pretty close to 3.82 volts. They were all within 40 millivolts of each other. So that load test tells me the uh, device is fine. 
All right, here is my charger circuit based on the TL431 from before, but I'm going to have to use a lot higher voltage because I'm not just doing a few um, a few cells in series or a little NICAD battery pack. I'm having to take this up to charge that battery pack fully to 21 volts. First, I put a uh, base uh, resistor in the base of Q1. I increased the uh, Q2 resistor up to 2.2K. That was changed to 2.2K. And this was changed to 330 ohms from 150. I still left my constant current source. This is a symbol that I made for a constant current source. And I would adjust with these disconnected disconnect the uh, battery I would adjust R2 for 21 volts between test point 1 test point 2 disconnect power reconnect the uh, batteries and let it charge up until the little charge LED comes on in the case of this test point 2 went to ground and test point 1 went up here and it charged up just fine and it worked okay. But the problem is that you deal with lithium ion cells is charge balancing. They were very close and they would probably work for a while, but if you use this regularly, the charge vo the char differences and charge voltages as they charge up will begin to vary. So it's possible that one may take less uh, more time to charge up and you could overcharge one or two of the pairs that's why you're going to do load ba uh, charge balancing all right one last issue on the charging circuit is this resistor down here that was 33k before is now 10k to extend the range to a higher voltage. We have 24 volts input, of course. If we look at our formula, V out equals 1, R1 being the 100K pot and 4.7. If you work through the uh, formula, you, you have a range now of about 28.7 volts. Again, this circuit had to be adjusted to about 21 volts to work with that particular battery pack. Okay, charge balancing often uses some kind of little electronic circuit. In fact, my original circuit for uh, single cells works great as a charge balancing circuit. I hook two of them up. You'll build one complete circuit here for each cell that you have. And then the cell and circuit would go in series with the next one and so forth. Here is an example off the internet of what this accomplishes. If one cell charges up before the other, the current will be bypassed through Q1. And it will not, it will allow, it will not allow this cell to exceed 4.2 volts. And as they all charge up to 4.2 volts, the current will be bypassed through each through uh, each cell, cell control circuit. This does not have a constant current source. Uh, I highly insist that you use a constant current source when you're charging this stuff. All right, here an example again is this uh, charge control board for a 12 volt. Uh, this will this is for a 12.8 volt lithium ion cell battery. Excuse me. Here's another example of that board as it would look. You have three pairs. You have five cells in parallel in three groups connected in series and that gives you your 12.8 volts as you see connected here through this board. 
These are interesting that uh, these are inexpensive, very inexpensive. As you see down here in this illustration, this is an 18650. This one's good for uh, bypassing 2.5 amps. I bought them off of eBay. I think you can get them at a higher rating. I did not need that. And so what you do, observe polarity that's marked on it, is you would solder the ends across your each of your lithium ion cells and it accomplishes it accomplishes the exact same thing I did with the circuit here a lot easier to hook up though isn't it and here is my lithium ion cell where I actually soldered these um, certain little mini circuits across it and at this point once this is be um, done with these little circuits I don't need any of the circuits I used before I can just connect the uh, uh, voltage source through a constant current source to reduce the current directly to it and it will charge up and this was tested and charged up to right at 21 volts which is what it should have been so that's charge balancing that's how to test and salvage these older batteries appreciate you uh, I hope this video was useful for something um, click the uh, join and notification bells and all that kind of stuff and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com